207 has been on the air for nearly 19 years now, and during that run, there are two people who by far have made more appearances on the show than anyone else. Let's take a look at one of their very first appearances back in the winter of 2004. We've got a clip. Let's roll it. Music will be hitting the shelves tomorrow, and that, of course, means that our world travelers from Bull Moose Music are back with us tonight, Brett Wickard and Chris Brown. Thank you so much both for being here. They are. Yeah, that's the way it was. And they're wow. still with Wearing us. Shorts. Brett Wickard, Chris Brown, and Mick Workhoven, all from Bull Moose. Thanks so much for coming in. It's great to have you guys. That was technically August of 04, not the winter of 04, but I think it makes the point of what it was like. What do you remember from those early days when you guys started coming on every two weeks to talk about new music and video releases? Mainly, I remember how nervous I was the first time, and you you all were so great at making it easy. You'd say, oh, we're just having a conversation, and then you're like, boom, we're live, we're talking. <laughs> and I, wor I was worried I'd suddenly catch Tourette's, like ha say something improper yeah. or something. It has not happened, I don't believe. How about you, Chris? I just remember it feeling I needed to know everything about everything that we were talking about. And our first thing was about the Oscars. Right. <laughs> so I knew like who the cinematographers were. I didn't know what categories we were doing. Right, I, right. Knew, I had picks for like everything. Uh, yeah, it was, it was intense. Well, the reason that we have you all back here and you in particular is because after more than 30 years since you founded Bull Moose and have run the company that entire time, you're finally stepping away. You have sold Bull Moose to its employees, which means Henceforth, you really won't know anything about movies or music anymore, <laughs> and so you probably won't be hanging out with us here on 207, which really distresses us, and it bums us out because it's always been a blast to have you around. Likewise, it's been so much fun. I mean, really, I just feel so much gratitude and excitement for where Bull Moose is headed, too. And you guys were great because you brought such a range of material <laughs> to us. We have another clip, so let's take a look at a little of uh, Brett's expertise. Let's take a look at our second <laughs> oh, clip. No. This one just kills me. They're so kitschy. 12 girls band. you got to tell us about this. Brett, we'll go to you since uh, the geezer okay. music we spent. <laughs> I'm on with yeah, Chris. There you go. Well, it's actually 13 girls, although only 12 are on stage at once, but they've got one in the wings waiting to just fill in. Uh -huh. But they're, uh, they've sold 2 million copies in Japan, and they're, uh, they're classically trained musicians playing traditional Chinese instruments. <laughs> Do you remember this band? I do. I, I do not. I would bet any. Well, the 12 girls band. There you go. Yes, and, and you know, this was important because this was and the first weird thing we ever did. <laughs> and we found out we could get away with something that was interesting, but out of the ordinary. Mick, you've been great about carrying on the tradition uh, of weird things. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you know of 12 girls band? Ever I, heard I'm, of them? I'm familiar with 12 girls band. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, I also think it's really funny, and I just want to say for the record that while that clip was being filmed, I was applying to colleges yeah. uh, because I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were in college when you started Bull Moose. That's true. 1989. <laughs> We talked about that on the 20th anniversary of Bull Moose in 2009. I did a story on you guys for, two, uh, for 207. So once again, we have a clip. Let's take a look at our third clip. <laughs> in the summer of 1989, as he was getting ready for his senior year at Bowdoin College, 20-year-old Brett Wickard made a decision. He was going to open a record store in Brunswick. The big question is, what do you name the business? And uh, my last name is Wickard, and a lot of friends said, you should call it Wickard's Weckards. And it was really, really, really close to being called Wickard's Weckards. About a month after opening the store, Brett hired fellow Bowdoin student Chris Brown, who was working the midnight shift across the street at 7-Eleven. I knew that my knowledge of music was like this, and Chris's is like this. And uh, so I broke him away from it, and 7-Eleven has never been the same. Front page feature on the business section of the Press Herald, <laughs> yeah. 1993. What am I doing sitting on the counter? I should be written up for that. All I know is you look like you're about 12. <laughs> <laughs> is that the same shirt you're wearing today? It, it, uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> that is the same shirt I'm wow. wearing today. Wow. <laughs> 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 and I'm wearing the shirt that's in that clip. I still own that shirt in that clip. Yeah, that's, uh, yes. What are you going to miss the most about it, do you think? Oh, just what's so fun about the, being around the arts is there's new things all the time, and it keeps you current. Like, I love the fact that the arts, like, 
challenge you. There's new things every single week and uh, just being around a community of folks who are all like-minded around that stuff. So like when, when stuff's coming out or when Mick has something made, we're all <laughs> checking it. Like that fun, is, th it's hard to exp express how exciting that stuff is. All right, before you go, we're gonna give you a little trivia. Mick supplied me with oh, these yeah. details. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Best selling music artist of all time, 33 years at the Bull Moose stores. I, 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 Eminem. Eminem, you're correct. Number two? <laughs> Number two, yeah. best selling artist of all time? Um, Limp Biscuit. Are you serious? It's in the top five. <laughs> no, it's not. Not on the list you gave me. Number oh. two would be the Beatles, obscure band. Oh, I've never heard of them. You yeah. haven't heard of them. Uh, Must be the top ten. Best selling used CD of all time at Bull Moose. See, I would think it was Green Day Dookie. Number two. Oh, that's right. Number two. Number best selling. Uh, Jagged Little Pill. Jagged still. Little Pill. Oh, a lot yeah. more said. I yeah. should have known that. Pill still. Yeah. I think it's probably just as well you're riding off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even name these things. Send them out to pasture. Uh, thank you for 17 great years here on 207. We really appreciate it. Uh, 18 years, actually, coming up on 18 years. Uh, and we're delighted that Mick and Chris are still going to be with us regularly. And oh, yeah. you have an open invitation to come back anytime you want and hang out and talk movies, music, whatever with us. Nice. That sounds great. great. Thank We'd you. be thrilled. It's it, been great fun. It's been a blast. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming in. Stick around. We're going to be back with more of 207 right after this.